There is a fresh exodus of refugees from Myanmar into the hill state. Over 4,000 displaced people from Chin state crossed over to Mizoram during the past few weeks, taking the official number of refugees in the state to 16,000. And due to frequent armed clashes between the Myanmar army and the local resistance groups in Chin state, Mizoram is now housing over 20,000 Chin refugees across the state. And this has triggered worries about another phase of the influx of Myanmar nationals into Mizoram. But the highest number of Myanmar nationals are taking shelter in Champhai and along the Lai districts. And as per available data from the last month, over 4,000 refugees are taking shelter in Champhai, while close to 5,000 are taking shelter in Long Talai. The entire task of hosting the refugees is being handled by village communities with help from the Young Mizo Association and the church. Profiling of Myanmar's nationals is also taking place in districts like Champhai to provide them with temporary IDs. Currently, NGOs within the district are taking up the task of providing the basic necessities to these refugees. Meanwhile, in Long Talai, preparations are afoot to set up more relief homes to accommodate the increasing influx of refugees. It may be mentioned here that the Mizoram government has on more than one occasion sought relief from the centre to accommodate the Myanmar refugees. Alright, and to give us the latest inputs, I am being joined now over the phone by my colleague Isaac Zoram Sangha. Isaac, what are the fresh steps you know, taken by the state government in order to deal with this fresh refugee crisis, Isaac? Yes, round up. Uh, yes, the state government have uh, have taken actions regarding these uh, refugees by uh, giving them uh, this COVID vaccine and also this uh, giving them medical aid and even uh, 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 through the to the central YMA they have given uh, the to the central government the state government have given uh, the uh, uh, shelter and also uh, even their uh, basic uh, uh, basic essential commodities. So yes, uh, the, the state government have already sanctioned an amount of uh, 80 lakh rupees uh, to to help the refugees in two uh, in, in two terms. Partly they they have uh, they have uh, they, they have given uh, 30 lakh rupees, and after that they have given 80 lakh rupees. Now an amount of 300 rupees is uh, currently scheduled uh, currently in the schedule uh, to to. Uh, to help the Myanmar refugees. The state government is planning uh, to give them uh, 300 rupees to help all those Myanmar refugees who are, uh, who are sheltering the state of Mizoram Rauna. Right. Now, Isaac, you know, there are also reports coming in that some refugees are being given medical treatment in ISOL. So, you know, any real latest updates regarding that? Yes. Yes, uh, yes, Rana. Uh, yes, uh, the, those refugees who had, uh, who had, e e even not only in Aizol, e in the entire Mizoram, the, uh, some of the, the refugees when they entered Mizoram, they have been tested of this, uh, they have been tested for this COVID-19. So when they held, uh, so when they are being positive, uh, they were being treated in the hospitals. And also, uh, not only that, uh, those uh, people, those Chin refugees, and not only the refugees, uh, and some of, some reports or some sources also saying that, uh, uh, the Chin uh, Chin army, the Chin rebel, uh, those who are uh, th those who are injured in the in the in the fight against those Myanmar military, right. were also being uh, treated in the hospital in Mizoram hospital. But uh, there are no uh, uh, there is no uh, it is only the source and there is no active information regarding their runoff. All right, Isaac Zoram Sangha, thank you very much for joining us this evening and bringing us all of those latest inputs.